Hi folks, my name is Dennis O'Sullivan and I'm a Systems Consultant with Quest. Today I want to show you how you can perform data-driven testing on your PLSQL objects. On screen, I have a simple procedure called Remove Room by Name. When I pass in the name of a room, it gets deleted from the Rooms table. My Rooms table has six rows, and I also have a table called Room Content, which has a foreign key constraint on the Room Key column. That means I won't be able to delete any rooms that have contents. In this example, rooms one, two, and three have contents, and rooms four, five, and six do not. So going back to my procedure, there are two scenarios I want to test here. First of all, when I pass in the name of a room without contents, and secondly, when I pass in the name of a room with contents. So I'm gonna pop over to Code Tester for Oracle and create a new test definition. The test definition is a group of related test cases. I'm gonna select the object I'm working with, and now I can start creating test cases. So my first test case is to test for rooms without content. So there's two things I need to provide code tester with. First of all, the inputs for the object, and secondly, the expected outcomes based on those inputs. So I'm gonna, first of all, add the inputs. I can insert a literal like bedroom, for example, but there's no reason why bedroom can't have contents in the future. So in this particular example, an expression would be more appropriate. So I've inserted a select statement that will always return rooms without contents. So once I have the input sorted, I go to the outcomes tab and I tell the tool my expected outcome. So my expected outcome in this scenario is that I expect row or rows to be deleted from a table. So I specify table, then I select the table in question you can also search for the table. And then I specify the outcome. In this case, I'm deleting rows, so I expect the count after to be less than the count before. And then I simply select save and close. And I can run my test definition. I can see here I have one test case called rooms without contents, and that has passed and I can look at the result of that test. Now I want to add my second test case. So I go to add unit test, create new test, and this time I'm testing rooms with contents. Again, I need to put in my inputs. I could put in a literal here, but I'm gonna use an expression again because a room which has contents now may not have contents in the future. Once I've sorted my inputs, I go to my outcomes. This time, I don't expect any data to be deleted from the table. I expect an exception to be raised. So I'm gonna select exception instead of table. Now I can insert the exact exception number, but I can also just select raises any error. So as long as an exception is raised, I'm happy. So I'll select save and close there. Right click on my test definition and run. And now I can see I have two test cases which ran successfully. I can see my second test case ran successfully because an exception was raised. So if I pop back to Toad for Oracle, any changes I make to this procedure going forward, I can call these data-driven tests while I'm developing my procedure. So if I click the Execute Code Tester for Oracle button, I can select previously created tests and execute them. So now I know any changes I make to this procedure haven't broken tests that were previously working. So that's how you can add data-driven testing to your PLSQL objects. Thanks for tuning in.